So I wanted to hear a little bit about what you've learned at the Global Partnership for Education that might inform these platforms. How, what are some of the challenges? What are some of the key things that you need to do to help make, you know, an organization like that work to bring together mm -hmm. these stakeholders, and then to really also build in that accountability and sort of the right um, management mechanism and, and performance tracking. It's a great question, and I've, I've actually had the honor of working at two of these organizations now, so I, I have a little bit of experience to draw on. I think we first have to look at the, the nature of the problems that we're trying to solve now and then ask, you know, why are we doing, what is the best way to do it, and then how do we go about it. If you look at all of the SDGs, they are all big, complicated, uh, very um, complex issues that require a variety of different talents and, and certainly the one that um, I'm very engaged in right now, SDG 4 about education, the span of the problem certainly exceeds the wingspan of any single organization that is involved. So we need every dollar, every organization, every person, every minute that we can find uh, in order to really resolve the problem and that is a platform. And uh, in many development um, sectors, there are big problems of fragmentation, which, uh, first of all, is, is not particularly efficient from a financial perspective. A lot of money gets uh, wasted in transactions costs, but it also causes a lot of operational difficulties for the countries. I mean, they don't want to be dealing with multiple different initiatives. And so platforms have the capability of drawing together everybody behind uh, a single agenda. Uh, and that is particularly important for education uh, because it has been a particularly fragmented sector, but we're slowly trying to resolve that through the work of the Global Partnership and make money aligned, make it very much behind what governments want to do, uh, and, and in particular reduce uh, the fragmentation. So I'm curious as you're thinking about this issue of funding, this even bigger goal, um, wh what types of things are you looking at? What types of mechanisms are you thinking about? Who are you working with to try to figure out how to unlock additional capital? So rather than focusing on the mechanisms, what do the mechanisms need to do? So we'll define the problem and then we'll work back to the solutions. So first of all, there's not enough money. Uh, money is not consistent enough. Um, often what you see certainly in ODA as well as in domestic resources is that for any manner of reasons, um, often it's uh, countries needing to deploy money to fight wars. Education, the education budgets often get robbed. And so it's very hard to plan out what is ultimately a very administratively intense uh, service to deliver if money is going to be sporadic. So we've got to fi figure out the consistency problem. We've got to figure out the amount problem. We've got to bring in totally different sources. I mean, ODA and domestic resources alone are not going to fill the gaps. You've read about the gaps. If you were to just cost out what it costs to, to fill the gap for a second day, for 12 years of school, it's, you know, it's thir at least $39 billion. Uh, so we need new sources. Uh, we need to begin to figure out how you look at the different, um, the different levels of schooling, you know, primary, early secondary, lower secondary, and are there different solutions that we can put in place for the different um, levels of school according to the, the financial dynamics of those? And that's something that we haven't even begun to tap. Uh, another thing that we should be looking at is how we harness domestic philanthropic resources in the countries. Um, and that's something that is, I think, quite doable uh, and would make sense um, because there are in many of these countries philanthropists who could easily, I think, be encouraged to in a more sort of systematic way support um, education.